Barely a week after helping to repatriate $311 million, which is about 118 billion naira stolen by the late head of state, General Sani Abacha, the United States says there was a separate $319 million, 121 billion naira Abacha loot in the United Kingdom and France. The U.S. Embassy in Nigeria said in a statement on Wednesday that there is $167 million in the stolen assets in France, while there is a separate $152 million in the U.K., which has been challenged in court. According to the statement, the funds returned last week are distinct and separate from an additional $167 million in stolen assets, also forfeited in the United Kingdom and France, as well as $152 million still in active litigation in the United Kingdom. Bloomberg had reported that repatriation of $152 million and now $155 million due to interest to Nigeria has been challenged by the UK and the US because of alleged plans by the Nigerian government to give $110 million out of the money to Kebbi State Governor Atuku Bagudu, a known associate of the late Abacha. Nigeria's Attorney General Abubakar Malami, SAN, has however denied ever entering a deal with Bagudu, but court papers say otherwise. We're now being joined by political analyst Gwaloba to take a look at this new discovery. Good morning, Mr. Gwaloba, and how are you? Good morning. And thank you for joining us on the news. Thank Years you. after Abacha died, funds looted by the late head of state had just been repatriated. Why did you think it took this long for the money to be released? Not just being repatriated. We've had repatriations from the time of President Olusha Gwabasanjo, cumulatively under the presidency of Olusha Gwabasanjo, about $2 billion were repatriated. After the Obasanjo regime, unfortunately, because of the short-lived period of President Yadua, we did not get anything, but under President, uh, under President Dr. Jonathan, we also got uh, about 260 repatriated. So to say just being repatriated is not uh, is not reportorially correct. Uh, let's let's take a look at, um, at at the state of the nation now and the anti-corruption war. W would you say it's any better now than in, in the times of Abacha that allowed for such looting to have taken place? Ironically. Uh, we can't be comparing apples and oranges. Abacha was a prima facie dictator. He was a military, he was a military head of state. Uh, we are now in what should be a liberal democracy, in what should be a liberal democracy. So we are now under a form of civil governance where people can ask questions better where people can be a bit more uh, a bit more uh, antagonistic of moves that are seemingly or somewhat unaccountable you can imagine talking of a bachelor you can imagine that as we speak now people are lambasting people are lambasting the minister of justice for euphemistically referring to a bachelor as a bachelor asset you must also remember that when this administration got its first Abacha loot back, the presidency referred to uh, the, the, the money as illegally, uh, money is illegally taken away under the Abacha administration. That phraseology too was, was excited, that phraseology too excited criticism from Nigerians. So, the times are different, but the general cultural disposition to kleptomania, general cultural disposition to not wanting to be transparent and accountable, general cultural disposition politically in our polity uh, is not much different. Finally, Mr. Gweloba, what lessons do you think are inherent in the Abacha looting saga for Nigeria? that Nigerians should be more agitated, more assertive, more, uh, more in holding governments, irrespective of the reputation or disreputation of the person 
in leadership of, of governance, Nigerians should be more assertive in holding them to account. That is the inherent organic lessons that must not in any way, shape, or form before, be, be lost. Because irrespective of anybody's reputation, are people working with him or people working with her may be up to their own machinations. We, under this administration of a so-called saint, in, you know, sent in the public space, we had instances where money already paid to a lawyer was was being rearranged to be paid to another set of lawyers until people started shouting. And when the cries of Nigerians arose, uh, the Attorney General backed out of it. So, uh, 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 and in your intro to this segment, you were also, uh, you also alluded to uh, a, a court documented record of illicit agreement between the Attorney General's office and a, a personage in Nigeria who, who was once Abacha's, Abacha's uh, operative. But they are now ostensibly denying, denying it. So, Open your eyes, be more assertive, Nigerians, in holding people to account. All right. Mr. Gbalaba, thank you very much for joining us and for your insightful contribution on the news. Thank you very much for the, for the privilege.